Rural communities have been urged to conserve forests and harness natural ingredients in order to improve their livelihoods. The call was made by Senior Director in the Ministry of Environmental and Natural Resources, Edward Samuriwo, at the convention in Harare on Wednesday. Forests make up 47% of the country and are responsible for a third of incomes in rural communities. Dried fruits, oils and vegetables are some of the very popular products supporting rural communities. The rural farmers are critical in the supply chain as a source of organic products for the retail market. You know, we're looking at a situation where when someone farms and then there's access to requirements, uh, then you, you now look at ways of preserving the excess so that you can then use it uh, on, during the rainy day or on, on another day. That's what we are looking. Uh, so we are making use of solar, solar dryers to dry f feeds and we're not putting in any chemicals or anything. So this is natural dried food and um, it, when you dry it, it lasts anything between three and six months depending on what it is. If it's uh, things like bananas, obviously they, they go bad quickly. So we're looking at three months. But if you're talking like the other Mufushpas, we are, we are now talking six months and beyond. So, you know, during the, the, those dry seasons where, where there's no rain, you can actually be relying on, on, on those dried foods. But as climate change increasingly becomes a lived reality, the threat on livelihoods is also growing. We have been revising or amending our laws and policies. Right now we have, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the new forest act, we have, which approved by cabinet. We are also revising uh, the Park Act. We are revising the uh, Emma Act, or the other revisions. But above all, we are also dealing with the wildlife policy as well. But what has been missing is the community-based natural resource management policy, which we must write run through now. And I'm talking here to the two presenters. Let's have a chat and let's hear your views because we are launching the review process for these policies uh, in the near future. To protect these forests, strategies such as community-based natural resource management policies are bringing in the government and its partners to build resilience among rural communities. The focus of our project is to build resilience of communities around protected areas in Zimbabwe. And we are doing so through community-based um, natural resource management, through stronger governance, through greater water access, and through private sector engagement and locally led development. So one way in which uh, we can do so and empower communities is through these non-timber forest products, or uh, I also like natural ingredients as an alternative. Um, I think you heard already today that it is, uh, has a huge potential, um, both in Zimbabwe and throughout Africa. We heard figures of up to $300 million a year in terms of potential value. Um, Forest-based resources contribute to about 35% of incomes in many communities. Us at Resilient Anchors, we've been working on this, particularly in the mid-Zambezi Valley and Wonga and Binga. Um, there are other projects that are also investing in non-timber forest products, and we are looking to work uh, with our counterparts, uh, groups like Dan Churchaid, with uh, the government, the Forestry Commission, and others, to see how we can sustainably expand um, uh, some of this work. Population growth has also come as a threat to sustainable forests, and this calls for friendly mitigation measures. And what we have uh, tended to do is to ensure that when communities enter into agreements uh, with those that uh, want to collect or want to buy their, their, their various um, uh, natural ingre ingredients, they put in those agreements clauses that ensure that we don't harvest every seed or every fruit from the tree. So they have to come up with a method of ensuring that certain seed or certain foods remain so that they can regenerate the forest. I'm Michelle Kanguru for ZTN Prime in Harare.